Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Flame Leone, 2300 here, and we're back with another package uncovering for you guys. So I got another package for you guys to check and see what I have inside here. And yeah, let's get this started. So I already know what's inside, so I'm going to show you what you guys. So first things first, um, I kind of unripped it already just to have everything set and ready for you guys. As you probably can see all the way to the top of the screen, we have this, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to take the whole thing out that's inside. You can probably guess what it is. It is the uh, HMS ripcord. So the heavy metal system ripcord. So that means I have a um, heavy metal system Beyblade inside. And that's what we're going to uncover. See what I got. So without further ado. Okay. Here's the Beyblade. No, I'm just kidding. This is the uh, ripcord uh, launcher. For the main blade so the actual main blade that we got inside is dark effigy okay hopefully i uh pronounced it correctly here there you guys you guys can see uh we got the full bay blade and everything with it um the only thing that i noticed is missing is the stickers on the eyes which you know it's okay um i got this baby for about i would say 35 dollars um, which is not so bad, especially if you get like a new one, it's like $80 and this has everything inside. So the only thing that's really missing is the, uh, two stickers with it. So we're going to take it, uh, part by part to guys show you guys everything. So let me actually take this. There you go. Just put everything laid out for you guys here. Okay. So we have the, uh, bit chip here. So you guys, oh, I just dropped the bit chip. <laughs> it's like kind of very hard to uh, hold it in my hand. So you guys can see it's the bit chip. It says dark uh, effigy. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it uh, correctly. Sorry, my pro uh, I'm pronouncing it wrong for you guys, but hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. So effigy. All right. And then after that, we have the wheel, which I for, I believe it's uh, Circle Upper. I think that's what it's called. Um, this wheel is actually one of the uh, most widest wheels, I believe, in the HMS series. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty wide because of the metal part that's on the outside uh, from the inside. And it's very slim, too. So you can see, which I think this would be very good to like lift Beyblades up with it. Because obviously you see it starts low and it works its way up upper like that. Well, this is called Circle Upper. That's probably what the uh, name is for this. Okay. And then after that, we have Circle Heavy. Okay. Again, this is like um, the same base that we got from uh, Gaia Dragoon. And um, Hopper Attack 2 as well. The one that we uncovered last time. Same um, middle disc. Pretty cool. And then we have the running core here. Which I believe is the metal change core. Which I don't know why they call it that. It doesn't really change anything. It's just more like a, a tip to it. Just a metal tip. But yeah, that's the uh, running core there. So let's put everything back together for you guys. Just put the uh, running core put that there. Put it on top. And then the bit chip right inside with it. And we put it together. And bam, there you go. And you have the bay fully assembled again. Looks very nice, good to my uh, HMS collection. I'm still trying to get uh, the other HMS bays. I know uh, like Shining God and Bloody Devil is gonna be very hard to get, as you guys know, very expensive. But I'm slowly making my works into getting that. Hopefully I can get it. It's gonna be costing a lot of money. I know that for sure. But uh, yeah, this is the Beyblade here. So we're gonna do a test launch with it. I used the ripcord that uh, they gave me for it. Should be okay to use. All right, so I'm first putting it in right spin and now I'll put it in left spin. Ready, three, two, one, go. So it looks like the uh, running core is more meant for attack. You guys see uh, 
the effigy, really uh, going around. I believe they also call this Beyblade Gargo uh, Gargoyle too as well. But in the bit chip it does say Dark Effigy. So there you have it in the uh, right spin. Let's see if I just learn it a little bit. Yeah, but look at that uh, attack ring. The ring around it is really wide, which is pretty cool. And then it just went into the middle, like more of a standable type. Maybe that's the whole purpose of it. And then let's see, we're gonna put it in uh, less spin. Let's see if there's a difference. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Attack mode, uh, as you can see. Alright, let me slow it down a little bit. All stops. The thing is, the, uh, the tip reminds me actually, if you look very closely at it, it reminds me of SD, like uh, semi defense, I believe that was called in the uh, Metal Fight series. Because it has that like weird slope shape of it with like the little point in the middle. But yeah, there's a dark effigy for you guys. Really cool Beyblade. Uh, goes looks like it switches between attack and defense, like in the middle of it. Uh, which I don't know how that happens, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I do want to take um, a look at the attack ring one more time, just to compare it to be uh, between like. Uh, Hopper, Attack, and Slash, uh, Liger, the ones that I got last time. Just want to see how, uh, really wide is it between these two. So, let me take this off. Okay. Let me just get their, uh, thing in here. Just, I'm just really curious to see. So, yeah, wow, that is actually pretty wide. That is really wide. If you can see, I'm, like, overlapping the two, and this is... Uh, Dark Effigy's wheel still. And this is uh, Hopper. I put it in the middle. You can kind of see the uh, blade still sticking out. Wow, that is pretty wide. Even if I put like Slash Rider's thing. Okay, now it really makes it look wide. <laughs> Holy cow. That is crazy. But yeah, this is, it's more of a, the, I think the widest um, attack ring in the HMS series, which is pretty, pretty cool. All right, let me actually uh, reassemble all the bays back here so I can have them here. But yeah, pretty, pretty cool overall. I think, um, you know, for getting this for $35, I think it was, you know, pretty okay deal there. Um, especially HMS Beyblades, they're very hard to come, not, I would say they're not very hard, but like they're very expensive to get because they're really w rare uh, for some of them. Like I was lucky to get Slash Rider uh, with the uh, Knight Virgo for like 57 um, when I got it. And then with uh, Hopper, I got it for like $30, which is also like a very good uh, deal overall, especially in the Hopper uh, around, it's like probably $80 brand new uh sometimes eighty dollars for use which is very crazy and then we got dark effigy for 35 which i you know again i think it was a pretty good buy um especially uh for a brand new one it's like eighty dollars you know i'm not really paying eighty dollars for a big blade but yeah there you go we have a deck uh dark effigy here ms so uh thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you guys want to, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe on my video. Uh, follow me on Instagram too as well, on Flamingly uh, Only 2300. Um, that's where you can see future updates, uh, content. And then if you guys want to request battle videos, uh, you guys can too as well. It can be any customization battle that you want or just, you know, stock combos that the Beyblades already have. All right. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Take it easy, guys.